Hi guys doing thank you for joining me here on Raven's Nest so today we're gonna get right into it we're gonna talk about Terrell Suggs who has been dominant for our Baltimore Ravens for so long but how much longer can T-Sizzle keep it going that's a big question because obviously we all know what Terrell Suggs did the other night against the Houston Texans had that huge strip sack fumble that cost the Baltimore Ravens to win the game T. Sizzle has over nine sacks this season in just 11 games, and he's 18 all-time in sacks in the NFL history, and also eighth on the list this season. And most of the players that are above him are younger than him. But somehow, some way, T. Sizzle, our man, continues to be great and just won't stop. So what is it that makes him so good? It's his drive. T. Sizzle has heart. Now, we all know that Terrell Suggs did not used to like to go to training camp, and he used to have to pressure him, pressure him to go to training camp. Even when he was a rookie, Ray Lewis had to pressure him to go to training camp, and even came up to Terrell Suggs when he finally showed up, when he was, Terrell Suggs was doing an interview, and remember, Ray Lewis came up to him and smashed a pie in his face, you know, saying, hey, listen, next time, show up to training camp. So Terrell Suggs has finally matured as a player. Back then, we all know he used to go back and forth with Pittsburgh Steelers and Tom Brady, which we used to love. You know, he used to go after them, not only on the football field, but verbally. But now he doesn't do that as much anymore, which shows that he's matured, although I miss it. I wish he would still be doing it. I wish he would still be going on ESPN First Take and debating with Skip Bayless. He doesn't, but he's a leader nowadays. He learned a lot from being under Ray Lewis and Ed Reed, and he still quotes them. Like just this past week, he was saying that Ray Lewis used to hold him accountable. He used to get sacks, and Ray Lewis would be like, why didn't you get the ball? He would get another sack. Ray Lewis would say, why didn't you get the ball? So Terrell Suggs the other day was like, I had Ray Lewis in the back of my mind when I forced that strip sack fumble that cost us to win the game against the Houston Texans. And that's really what he preaches to the team now. He tells mostly, you know, why didn't you score? When you pick up a fumble or you get an interception, you got to score. Almost like last season, C.J. Mosley, we all know against the Redskins, went all the way down the field, had that interception, but he couldn't score. So you got to finish if you want to be great. Now, there's a difference between great and good. If you're good, you get the sack. If you're great, you get the fumble or the interception, and you take it to the touchdown. And that's really what Terrell Suggs is striving to be. He doesn't want to be good. He wants to be great. And, boy, has he been great for a long time for the Baltimore Ravens. Definitely, in my opinion, a future Hall of Famer, not only because he has the stats, but it's because he is consistent and what he does, and also he puts fear into into other opponents. Like Owen Daniels, when he used to play for the Houston Texans, he said he always feared playing that guy. Obviously, Owen Daniels became a Raven at one point, so he didn't have to worry about Suggs other than in practice. But Terrell Suggs, how much longer does he have left? I mean, I thought he was done the other year. When he had that Achilles injury, the, that, that second one in Denver, I was like, he's thrilled. He's through. But then he put his mind to it, and he still came back. Played last season. I was like, okay, there's a surety his last. Then he played this season. Any year really could be his last for Terrell Suggs. But the way he's going, I mean, he could play another two years. I just don't see three years. But really, he could retire at any moment. But two years is the most I see out of him. But, I mean, it's crazy. I, it just, I don't know how much gas is left in the tank. Is this a lot of gas left in the tank? Anyway, thank you guys for watching Raven's Nest. Appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you guys later. And how much do you, how much time do you think Terrell Suggs has left to play in his career? Talk to you guys later. I'm out.